So, we're back by popular demand. We're going to be making chili today. I'm making a regular meat chili. Not so regular, it's our way. And a vegetarian chili. And I will be narrating. Probably I not as well as my husband. Know about knowing that. Knowing my husband, he will be <laughs> chiming in. Okay, so we're cutting up some garlic. Most of the time, you probably would need about three cloves for the um, meat chili, but I'm doing a bunch. You can see how much I have. And this is going to be split between the two. So I'm just going to chop it up. And so, the way I do it, I just hold it like that. So and then I go like that. Use. It's okay. Why don't you use the big one? Because this is the knife I like. When you cook, you use the knife that you like. <laughs> when you're cooking with someone who stresses you out, I suggest a, a good IPA. You out. We cook together all the time. <laughs> this is brought to you by Lawson's Super this isn't about Session you. Number this is about my chili. Galaxy Lawson. IPA. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're going to cut up the garlic so just and chop it up. And um, we'll come back chopping. when you. No, no, because I'm going to chop up the garlic. Okay. It takes two seconds. Eh? Watch your fingers. So I don't want to. Just do it fast, like a that. Nine fingered wife. Just chop it, chop it, and then I'm gonna chop up. That'd be embarrassing. What? That'd be embarrassing. Having a nine fingered wife? Nine fingers? Hey, Aunt. Hey. Hey, hey my house is a little messy. Could you not be? I'm not chilly. All over the place. <laughs> Ignore the mess. Okay, so there's your garlic chopped up. Now I'm gonna do some onion. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna do one onion because I don't need a lot of onion in the vegetarian one. So I'll probably use more like three quarters of it in the meat one, and then the rest I'll do in. We're also under quarantine, so yeah. we're making so do with what we So the same thing, I don't do anything fancy. I just go like that, and then, what, you don't like it? No, no, you're cutting it fine. I just don't know how you work with just a small knife. Uh, you want me holding this? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, no, we're just joking. Around. My grandfather we do enjoy said, "Learn together. how to cook, and you'll never be relying on a woman the rest of your life." But in this case, sometimes you have a wife who likes to cook too, and it's almost like you argue for who gets to uh, be in the driver's seat. You're giving a bad, a bad um, hey, view other. of us. We don't argue don't about stop. cooking. The only thing we argue about is how I we dropped don't. the onion. <laughs> The other thing we argue about is how we See, don't argue. I'll tell you why I just dropped the onion because <laughs> I'm using the big so knife. The onion was cleaned off and it's good as, good as new. And I'll tell you what, we'll boil it to make sure it's clean. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to, I'm going to start with the meat one because mine isn't going to need too much. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm just going to turn this on. My stove only goes on high, unfortunately, so I have to really watch it. I'm going to throw a little this bit of... Is this a GoFundMe thing? We're asking for money for a new <laughs> stove. A little bit of olive oil. And we're going to let that get heat up. That. So we had a little bit more olive oil because I always like more olive oil. We just test it. You'll see some ripples in the olive oil develop. My video. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell us what you're doing with the onions. So we threw a little onion in there to see if the olive oil is ready. You could also go like that with a little bit of water and sizzle, but anyway. So I'm throwing some onion in. I'm only saving like that much for mine. I don't, I don't need much, that's good. That's a handle. What? That's a handle. And just let it start cooking until mm. it almost gets translucent and then I'm going to yeah. And then I'm going to um, throw the garlic in. And then I'm going to throw the meat in. That sounds good. You see, one of the symptoms of the coronavirus is losing the ability to smell, and I, I think I don't have it yet. Because I just smell that. Mm. Hey, Simon. Was, uh, your wife, so oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, are you watching? What am I supposed to do? No, no, this is your you, video. Are you videoing? Slide it off if it's too high. No, no. Throw your garlic in. Yeah, I'm still videoing. I'll tell you what the issue is. 
it. My oven is broken. My Your stove, stove top is only on high, which means you gotta take it off. You're gonna need some fluids, right? I'm gonna put it on the back. I brought you some beer. We could deglaze with some beer, but I want the garlic Actually, in there. I'm going to do this. Throw the garlic in. Yep. And now it's time for the beer, so open yeah, up. Yeah, but I don't think it should be that. We need a dark beer. No, it's use whatever cheap beer you want to use. Don't use something good. You should use a dark beer. Just for the record, you should be using all a this? dark beer. For the record. She wants to do this all on her own, but somebody... You need like a, um, a darker one. No, no, not the whole thing. Why? No, no, not the whole thing. Are you going to use a little in yours? Yeah, I'm going to use a little, but plus I'm only doing, I, I would, no, 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 please, I'm cooking. Boil it down, the flavors will be good. I know, but listen to me. You're I'm doing, only do it, normally you can do a whole thing of beer if you're doing two pounds of meat, but I'm only doing one pound of meat, so you would do a half a beer. Beer is something you just add. You weren't supposed to do that, by the way. You got in my way. I was, I wanted to saute the meat first. First you would saute the meat. Jason's totally messing this up. I would have everything open and ready to go. So get the Look, meat ready. I've got everything was ready to go. The meat's over there. You guys can't put this on. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Okay, so I've been corrected for putting the beer in too early. So now if we're he wanted some to beef really in. deglaze that, I would have just put maybe a tablespoon or two of the beer in to do that because I wanted to brown the meat first. But... You make it work. It is what it is. <laughs> so now I'm gonna brown the meat in, the, in a beer mix. In a beer mixture, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. Let me know when to cut. Just show them what it looks like. Oh, it looks like raw meat. With so it's gonna brown in here. We're gonna. I know, but this is what it looks like when you're first doing it, and now it's gonna brown. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is what the meat looks like. So it's all brown. It smells good. Okay, now, cafe, a strong cup of coffee. Mmm. World's best cup of coffee. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, so we're letting that cook. You're letting it marry. And like then, us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and now we're going to put some tomatoes, a can of tomatoes in. I'm using crushed. You could use, you could use diced. You could use a lot of options. Yeah, a lot of options. But I'm just using a can of crushed tomatoes. I forgot to save my son. That's okay. Oh, okay, you know. No big deal. No big whoop de doo. Okay, and now I'll just let that cook. I'm gonna throw some beans in. Oh, but we have a lot of other things we have to put in here. We're gonna be putting some um, brown sugar. We're gonna be putting obviously all the spices. All right. Okay, so let that cook a little bit. Okay, that's my cue to turn it off. Okay, so we moved this to the back burner because the front burner was too hot. So in a normal household, you just put your burner on low. Yes, but I couldn't do that. So now I'm going to throw in, and normally I would not measure this stuff. I would just throw things in and go by eye, but I know a lot of people like measurements. So I'm doing about like three tablespoons of chili, chili powder. This is a tablespoon of uh, cumin and a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. And this is a quarter of a cup of brown sugar. Mix that up. And this is a pound of ground beef that I'm using. So you could do a pound of ground beef and then also or you could do two pounds of ground beef and then just put more of everything else, obviously. And now I'm gonna get beans. So I'm using two small cans, or like um, 16 ounce cans maybe, of black beans and um, kidney? kidney beans. And they've been rinsed? Yes, and they've been rinsed. And you could do any beans. Some, usually we do chickpeas, because we like chickpeas in our chili. I'm putting cannelli beans in my vegetarian chili. It's starting to look like chili. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so 
and that's that. So we're gonna let that cook for a little while. Get things out that I need, but um, so this is red cayenne pepper. So like a teaspoon or however much you like. And then um, coriander. And of course, you're going to then taste it and see how much more you need. A lot of times we end up adding more spice, but you might not need to this time, we'll see. And you could also put, you know, peppers, but we didn't do that. <laughs> so we still have our taste tester here. I can already tell you, it needs less beer. <laughs> oh yeah, go get a, um, you wanna, yeah, no, 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 okay. Normally you would use Normal a fork. Normal crystal would use a spoon. That's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can trust him. Um, he likes everything. Do you need more spice? Do you need more cayenne pepper? Well, you're going to put hot sauce on it probably. Anyway. A little more chili powder. More chili powder. Coming up. More chili powder? Ah! Okay. That's see, because I don't, don't normally measure. I just go... It's chilly, but when you're instructing people, you like yeah. to give them an idea where to start. Okay. All right. Okay, this... maybe do you want to have a fork this time? No, thank you. Mm. And I don't think I'm going to do my... Um, are you videoing? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do... A, this is so far my vegetarian chili. It's got butternut squash in it. Onion, garlic, butternut squash, and cannelli beans. Not sure yet what else I'm gonna do. But we won't pay attention to that one. No, we won't. So I'll have Jay taste it too to see if it needs anything. It's really good. Good job. <laughs> do you want to taste my vegetarian I'm glad you didn't one? Screw it up. Do you want to taste Spicy my vegetarian? Nice oh, you really are gonna taste it. It's not, not even done cooking. Are those mangoes. Butternut squash. No, squash. It's good? It's good, but you need to put some meat in it. 